How about that as a post, like warm up for the fight, the main events tonight? You had Anthony Joshua and Charles Martin for the IBF title, and you had Lee Selby. I won't say Shelby this time. I'm <laughs> thinking of the automobile. And versus um, my man Eric Hunter. Now, here's the situation. Let's do the Hunter fight first. Uh, Hunter came out just like we thought, Philly fighter. He was real quick, real. He he didn't do what I thought. He didn't get real reckless. He stayed poised a little bit, and then he came in a little bit, leading with his head, Philly style. But his defense wasn't tight, and you know, least you know, Selby was trying to fill him out and trying to get a a rhythm or trying to get some type of you know distance and trying to figure out what. Uh, hunter likes to do before he comes in and next thing you know he throws a shot he overcommits a little bit and bam that kind of left hit him in the second round and my man hit the ground like whoa where that come from and it woke selby up after he got dropped he got up start boxing using uh footwork movements straight right hands was key and i'm wondering why is Hunter making such a, such mistakes in the ring? I'm like, he got this fight, and he don't even know it. He had the fight. He had it. Selby figured out. You know what he was going to do. What you needed to do right then was press, press, press. And he just sitting there. And I'm like, what is wrong with Philly fighters today? This is not the staple of Philly fighters. You know, the, the Philly fighters is pressure, pressure, pressure consistently. Working, stapling the chin to your chest. Going in. That's old style work, work, work. You not working. He wasn't busy enough. He got outworked by Lee Selby. So, yeah, Selby won the fight because he was the most active. And I'm, I didn't expect that. And when Hunter did win some of the rounds, it was like reckless. So I, I kind of gave him some rounds. But I had it like, like a... Maybe one or two rounds for uh, victory for Lee Selby. In the 11th round, they brought it. They Both sides brought it, man. They brought it out. And it was a lot closer fight than, than what the scorecards indicated. But I could see if they gave Selby two rounds, or but no, nothing more than two. I think that, that would have been criminal. But I had Selby winning the fight. And even with the knockdown, I had him winning the fight because... That was just the way it was uh it was drawn up, you know. I'm just scoring the fight and I'm like, man, he's not doing enough. You know, like Hunter just wasn't doing enough. You know, I was rooting for him. I hoped he got it, but he just wasn't doing enough. He didn't bring what a Philly fighter normally brings to the table. And now I'm starting to see Philly fighters of this newer age, they gas out after like five, six rounds for some reason. I don't understand that. I don't know if it's something they doing wrong in camp or what's going on, but something's wrong. This is not how Philly fighters are are brought up to. They brought up to brawl you and fight you and be tough all night. Now these guys gassing out in six, seven rounds. I'm going to have to talk to Hood about that because I think he had a philosophy as to why Philly fighters aren't the same anymore. And he's saying that, I think before he told me that Philly fighters, they torture themselves and kill themselves in sparring and in the gym trying to destroy each other that by the time the fight happened, they don't have anything left. Like they leave it all in the gym. So that might be the case here. But I definitely will ask him after this performance. But uh, let's go to the main event. Anthony Joshua Charles Martin. It, it's a fight that never really got started. <laughs> Charles Martin came out, you know, he was basically keeping the left at home, trying to do the paw and jab thing. And and this is what I was saying. He, he got he to gotta commit to the jab. You cannot throw a lazy jab out there. A skilled fighter with size is going to be able to time you and hit you and catch you. And... When he got caught with the right hand, in the second round, it just shook him. 
Soon as he got hit, bam, he was he was gone. He was really gone and shocked more than anything. He really didn't give himself time to get back on his feet because he was still hurt and he just wanted to get up right away because, he, you know, the shock and awe being knocked down when he got caught with that two-piece combo. And this is this is the problem I had with Martin coming in and everybody's like, man, I was like, he has a puncher's chance. But against a skilled fighter, you can't, if you're going to throw, you can't just leave your, your arm out there all the time and keep trying to measure. If you're going to jab, jab. You know, commit. Don't keep playing around and thinking, because what's happening is you're going to get timed by a smarter fighter, a guy who has more boxing experience. And this is where I gave Joshua the credit. But I thought Martin would be at least, you know, kind of cautious enough to get to the, uh, 12th round he didn't he didn't he didn't get there <laughs> after he got caught with that power bam it was over it was all over for him and anybody who ever thought that he had a chance it was definitely all over for them so uh, all i got to say is great fight to watch it was entertaining and gets me ready for this pacquiao bradley fight and we had some things that we knew what would happen or we didn't know what happened. But it all played out nice and I enjoyed it. And now let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> As we get to see um, some great fights tonight, hopefully. And Tim Bradley, to me, has won more rounds as long as he's healthy on his feet than Manny Pacquiao has against him. So... We have to see what reads now. I'm out.